You're listening to Mr. Me 20102 VR. Hi, Billy Mays here for the YouTube copyright strike removal. The easiest way to get the copyright stains out of your account with one application. Anyway, this is Mr. Me, and I'd like to start off by saying welcome to month three. As I said last month, I still believe that copyright infringement claims should be processed by the infringed user and not by a bot that handles all the information. I'll jump right in and say how the whole ordeal should work in my eyes. Get out your notepads and open your email inboxes because we're sending this to Google. At least, I hope you'll send it to Google because, well, I don't know how and quite frankly they won't listen. But anyway, when someone uploads content that is possibly an infringement on another user's content, the user who is infringed upon should get a notice either on Google Plus if it's linked to their page or in their YouTube copyright notice section. It would say, we have found an upload from blah 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 that we believe infringes upon your copyright for the reason of blah blah blah. Please review. The notification would also have a small uh, embedded player with the video in it, available for playing the upload in question along with some options below it, such as yes this infringes my rights or no there is no infringement, or something along those lines. If the user selected yes, then there'd be more options. But first, the notification would increase in size if they hit yes and say something like, you have selected that this infringes your rights, what do you want to do? Then it would give some options along the lines of monetize upload, mute video audio, or take it down and apply a strike. The action would be carried out in about a minute or so after button click. Once the choice has been made, the infringed user can go back to their previous business as desired. Of course, they can still back out of making the decision to hit the no button or have to have time to think. It's, but it's really recommended that they would hit it ASAP. The video would be unavailable to watch until a choice is made, either by takedown by the claim or the uploader removes it themselves. Now, don't you think that's how it should be? The choice by the user, not by the system. It wouldn't apply to big name companies because, well, they can sue you if they wanted to. Or if they thought it was necessary. Or because of type 2 wants that diabetes. And another thing that I just don't quite understand <laughs> is what they decide to take away and what they don't. Some things are a given, such as custom thumbnails and extended uploads. They get that, but those are privileges. I don't find that right because you have to provide a phone number for extended uploads to be enabled. A phone number! Personal information! You don't know where that's going. I also read somewhere, I believe it was in the help center, that if custom thumbnails get revoked, it cannot be restored. If that's true, then you can say bye bye to me. And another thing, the upload privacy. I don't see why they take away the ability to set anything to unlisted. Tell me if that has any point. But if you can give me a solid reason as to why that's a valid restriction, I'll subscribe to you. Also, I don't get why the time spent in the penalty box has to be so long. Six months is ridiculous in my eyes. I know how serious this stuff is, but three months would be more suitable. Again, the whole reason I'm in this mess is because of a completely silent roller coaster because I don't have a good sound card that's capable of recording sound from the computer. A roller coaster. Give me a break. Now for the last part, they have a page where you can manage your watermark in a suggested video that plays on your uploads. They also have a page to select a video that you've uploaded that can be used as a possible advertisement for your account. Here's where it gets retarded. You mean to tell me that I'm not allowed to change an itty bitty picture in the top right corner of a video player or a suggested video that plays on my uploads, but yet you allow me to advertise my channel with one of my uploads while it's in bad standing? What crap is that? That's retarded, don't you think? But let me tell you exactly how I stand. I stand on my feet. But seriously, account status, community guidelines is in good standing. Copyright, bad standing. If you receive two more strikes, your account will be suspended. Video ID, you know, PE363BEF underscore TL, not like that matters. 
claimed by Ninja Player 321 on February 19, 2014, which I've said multiple times that he did not perform such action, which is why Google needs to seriously change his process like lickety split. But monetization? Not eligible due, due to account standing. Longer videos? Not eligible due to standing. I guess I need to sit down then. External annotations? Again, not eligible, but never used it. Custom thumbnails? Looks to be completely disabled. I hope that's temporary. Paid subscriptions? Monetization must be enabled first, which I can't do. Content ID appeals? Again, not eligible. Unlisted and private videos? Not eligible, but can't see why that's something to restrict. Live events? Not eligible. Never was, I don't think. Licensing? Prohibited from letting others remix my uploads. Standard license only. In video programming, you know, watermark and suggested watch. Modification to these settings is not permitted. But might I ask why? One thing they have added was the ability to submit counter notification for inference videos that you deleted. And, if you are in the penalty box, like me, they tell you the exact date in which your penalty will expire. Where was this before? So prepare to send this to Google. They know how to run a search engine, probably one of the best out there. But you know, they can't run a website to save their life. Alright, my rant's over. Thanks for watching and I hope you agree with my points. And uh, I guess I'll see you next month or whenever I do something. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want to stay up to date on video content, plans, and other junk, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Google+, and subscribe to my channel. Pick which one you think would be best for you, or why not do all three? Either way, you might want to stick around. Thank you, and goodbye. See you next time.